हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स ऑन एंटीना एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन आई एम नीलेष शर्मा प्रेजेंटिंग द फर्स्ट लर्निंग डायलॉग ऑफ दिस कोर्स एंड व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द बेसिक्स ऑफ एंटीना नाउ व्हेन वी आर स्टडीइंग द एंटीना एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइजेस दैट व्हाट इज एन एंटीना प्लीज टेक अ फ्यू मिनट्स एंड uh think of some examples or the kind situations where you use this antenna and what you find the conditions uh, or what you find specific condition in which we have to use an antenna you take one or two minutes and then write the answers come back to us and resume the course okay so let's have a look what is antenna in my view so what is an antenna formally an antenna is a passive structure that serves as transition between a transmission line and air used to transmit or receive electromagnetic waves or it converts electrons to photons where the electrons are traveling in transmission line or and when it is released from the antenna the energy has been converted from electronic energy to photonics or photons of electromagnetic energy which are radiated in the wireless space now in order to understand the operation of antenna first we have to understand some parameters and fundamentals related to antenna and the radiation by antenna these parameters are gain directivity effective aperture radiation resistance bandwidth beam width input impedance and some more as shown on the slide some other antenna parameters which are very uh, important for understanding antenna are solid angle radiation intensity radiation pattern side lobes and half power beam width which is abbreviated as hpbw far field zone directivity d or gain antenna radiation impedance effective area first of all before starting the uh, study of the fundamental parameters of the antenna and radiation pattern we have we should understand that uh, what is the prerequisite for antenna and mathematics related to this antenna actually uh, for antenna understanding we have to first we have first know we should first know that what is the coordinate system used in antenna so the coordinate system which is used in antenna is a spherical coordinate system as we know that coordinate system is a uh, coordinate system is the system which is used for identifying the unique position of any point in space with respect to some references for example as we have used rectangular coordinate system in which we have an origin and there are three mutually perpendicular axes generally known as x y and z and any point in this space is represented in terms of three coordinates which are actually the distance of this point p or the perpendicular distance of this point p from this three mutually perpendicular axes there are many other coordinate systems also spherical coordinate system is one of them which is very useful in case when we are understanding antenna now in a spherical coordinate system any point is represented by three coordinates r theta and phi in order to find the coordinate of point p first of all we consider an origin and an axis that axis we called we represent it here as x axis and a z axis now if we have to find the position or, or the coordinates of point p in a spherical coordinate system what we do first we join this point p suppose the point p is here we join this point p with origin by a straight line a line segment and the length of the line segment represent the first coordinate of the point p which is represented by small r for finding the second coordinate system we <coughs> find the angle of line segment op with z axis represented by the second coordinate theta and for finding the third coordinate we find the projection of line segment op o to this p on xy plane which is given by this smaller line segment op dash where the projection of point p on xy plane is p dash and projection of point o which is origin on xy plane is o itself so op dash is the projection of op 
and then we find the angle between positive x axis and this uh, op dash line segment this angle phi represents the uh, third coordinate system this phi is known as azimuth as shown on the figure or in the slide and theta is known as the elevation now as uh, is interpretable or as it is obvious that r can vary from 0 to infinity when r is 0 the point p is available at origin itself and when r is infinity point p is at infinite distance from the origin similarly theta for representing any point uniquely on the three dimensional space in spherical coordinate system this theta varies from 0 when point p lies on z axis and it will be pi when point p lies on negative z axis so theta can vary from 0 to pi similarly phi can vary from 0 when the point p lies in uh, positive x and z plane and it will be minus pi when the point lies in negative x and z plane and it will be greater than uh, pi when the point lies in some plane which is on the left half of this xz plane and correspondingly it will be again 2 pi when after complete rotation the point again comes at the positive xz plane so that's all about the spherical coordinate system i mean this is the prerequisition we must know for understanding antenna and now the solid angle 